Can Georgia really lose on Todd Munkin, the offensive coordinator that supposedly led y'all to back-to-back -back championships? I don't think that Georgia could really afford to lose out on that. Um, he's flirting with NFL jobs. It doesn't make sense. He just cooked up a national championship for y'all. Don't y'all think y'all got the money to pay Todd Munkin? Y'all need to lock Todd Munkin down right now. Because I don't know what y'all's offense is going to look like next year. Y'all already lost y'all best wide receiver. I mean, y'all got a couple. I'm pretty sure y'all always got a sleeper receiver. Like, just come make plays. So, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if y'all got that because y'all the best in the nation, back-to-back -back champions. So, y'all should have that part of y'all team that's just, you know. But you guys don't put your best players through the grind. You guys don't put y'all's best players through the grind. You feel what I'm saying? They only play the first two games, and y'all have so much depth that y'all could get – through the season pretty much with y'all second team, you feel me? Which is a huge advantage because by the time y'all best players get to the playoff, they just cooking up. Or it's that one big game where you need them, they cooking up because they fresh. So y'all do a lot of keeping y'all best players fresh for them championships because the depth y'all got. But if y'all lose y'all offensive coordinator, that's a big loss to the team because... Is Kirby that offensive guru? Is Kirby really an offensive guru? Like, we see a lot of offensive gurus out here, like Ryan Day and Lincoln Riley and all of them, you know? But is Kirby an offensive guru? Or he has to hire an offensive coordinator? You know what I'm saying? Because for the future of college football, I think the Georgia play style is eventually going to get caught up with because, well, the defense, because y'all always have that stud in the middle of y'all defense. Now, who's replacing him? Who? I'm pretty sure y'all got another stud, but is he Jalen Carter level stud? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, y'all in the back-to-back -back championship run. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, y'all got a chance to do something magical, three-peat. And Todd Munkin, he going to be a big part to the three-peat. If he loses, if y'all lose Todd Munkin, who y'all going to hire next? That's on Todd Munkin's level. Calling plays like him, an offensive guru. You know, Todd Munkin used to work in the NFL, so he got an NFL mind. He's a genius. I think he was a coach that got fired, that got a college job to recoup, and now he's, you know, back searching to go back to the NFL. You know, you never know what really, you know, goes on. I mean, but can y'all really afford to lose him, you know? I don't think y'all can lose Todd Munkin. I don't think y'all can really lose out on him. Because if y'all do, it's going to be detrimental to y'all's team's offensive production. You know? And then y'all got a new quarterback coming in. And we all know Georgia always come with weird quarterbacks. Like, is Kirby a quarterback guru? Like, who is y'all's quarterback guru on y'all's team? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I don't know, because who's going to develop a quarterback? Y'all had Stetson Bennett. Stetson Bennett was great. But is Stetson Bennett going to be really an NFL quarterback? I'm not throwing no shade or hate, but I'm just being real. Like, so is it going to be Carson Beck or Brock Grandergriff, whatever his name is? Looking at highlights, I think y'all should stay with Carson Beck because Carson Beck, he threw a pretty ball. and But I don't know if he got that gamer mentality like Stetson Bennett had. You know, that just that gamer. Is he, is he just going to make a play when it's clutch time? Is he going to make the play? So, 
I feel like I don't know. Brock Granderbar for my me. I'm be scared of long, linky quarterbacks. You know, like the Ben Roethlisberger type quarterbacks, like the Iowa type bunch, <laughs> like Spencer Petrus, like like <laughs> Spencer Spencer Petrus, the most terrible quarterback ever to ever exist. So I. I really don't know. You you got know what I'm saying? So I think that's the Brock Grander brief. But with, you know, with Georgia's success, Todd Munkin is key. Because do you want to deal with that type of situation of trying to pick out of one of those two quarterbacks? Cause I mean, I seen I seen both of them. Carson Beck is cool, but I don't know if he's a superstar quarterback. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all Georgia, y'all should be able to go get the best quarterback. Y'all just won back to back championships. Y'all should be able to go get Caleb Williams to run y'all's offense. Y'all are Georgia. Go tamper. He wanna win a championship in Heisman. Y'all's NIL bucks is big. Y'all got ESPN in y'all pocket, so I don't understand. You know why? Why you guys got to make it difficult? You know, but that's just me. Georgia, I feel like y'all gonna be a good team next year. But are y'all or is your quarterback gonna be able to compete on Bama's type stratosphere, Bama type level? Because Stetson Bennett was a gamer. So when it was time to play Bama for a championship, he came to play in the fourth. You feel me? Stetson Bennett. Y'all have that gamer, that that person that's just going to go and do great. You get what I'm saying? Do y'all have that? I don't know. You feel me? I don't know. So I feel like y'all's feature... Should be try to go get a good quarterback. Listen, if it's a quarter, if it's a quarterback out there that I think y'all should go take a quick look at, y'all need to go take a quick look at Jaden Daniels, the Kansas quarterback. He is special, bro. Like one of the most underrated quarterbacks ever. But if he get that development from them top level programs. And develop in that Georgia system, he can be a dangerous piece. He could reinvent what Justin Fields would have been for y'all. That's where y'all messed up. That's why y'all gotta keep settling for Carson Becks and Brock Vandergriff type quarterbacks. And y'all don't got no swag quarterback. I understand that y'all wanna keep it old school SEC style and it works and y'all win championships, but Y'all need a styly quarterback. You feel me? So y'all could keep getting style quarterbacks. Cause y'all oh all if you a old fashioned type QB, like Stetson Bennett was an old fashioned quarterback, but he could have wheels and he was short and fast. Uh and he's dangerous with his feet. Do it does the one guy is he dangerous with his feet? You feel me? Is he dangerous with his feet? I don't think y'all have a quarterback that's dangerous with his feet. So, I mean, y'all either going to get left in the dust because Bama got a quarterback that that y'all say is doo-doo, but when I watch him play, he's fucking fast as shit. He's like, he... He's a threat to he's a quarterback that got a dot in it's a threat to go to the crib. He I'm telling you, so y'all oof. Y'all struggle, y'all defense struggle with quarterbacks that can get out of the pocket and make plays. That's when y'all defense struggle. You feel me? And when y'all y'all take advantage of all Mitch matches on the field. Cause y'all have the depth to do that. Like y'all like 10 deep, 12 deep, 14 deep in the cornerback room. When teams be like six deep, y'all be like 30 deep. And y'all got quarterbacks in there that's next up that could have started 
they could have started for teams that's like six deep and could have been a stud for that team. So y'all y'all's program to the point where y'all just whore in talent. You feel me? Y'all whore in talent. Debt come to show. Debt shows. You feel me? When you don't got enough debt of players to step in, debt shows. You lose your running back, your stud running back, Travion. Like Ohio State lost Travion Henderson. You lose a stud running back, and then it's another stud behind him, Mayan Williams. Stud, you feel me? Now he out. He didn't went through a whole season of the Big Ten. He breaking arms, getting tackled every play, getting tackled hard. You feel me? Nine, ten games. He out. Now you on your third string. Third string. True freshman. The real third string towards ACL in spring. Debt deficiency. Now we on a true freshman. You feel me? In a national championship game. It's just that. They're at Georgia. Y'all could go 3D. You feel me? Y'all could go three deep and fucking be super phenomenal. When y'all go three deep, y'all could be super phenomenal in a three deep. Y'all like y'all got Kenny McIntosh. Then y'all second running back. Y'all got that big running back that just come out of the cut and he just big as heck. Like and he just running through big body running back Megatron. And then Y'all got a running back that's a bowler. And he just tacking in. Pow, 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 pow. And then y'all got another a fast 10 flat runner. You feel me? Like, it. Bro. Y'all, Dab is amazing. If we could have got that bigger running back, Mitchell Melchin, what's his name? The big running back. If we could have got him, oh, my God. We would be on a different stratosphere with a running back like that. We'll be national champions. Feel me? Getting us a Megatron running back just like y'all got. And that's what I'm saying. So... That that plays issue, and Georgia has everything. Y'all got a deep team, deep, 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 but y'all's offensive coordinator is y'all key piece, Todd Munkin. So can Georgia really afford to lose Todd Munkin? In my opinion, no. Y'all can't afford to lose him. Y'all going to have to recover from losing him because he's developing the talent that y'all have on y'all's team. He's the coordinator calling the plays. I don't think Kirby called plays. I don't think Kirby, Kirby calls the defense. Kirby is Kirby smart. It's in the defense. That's why y'all have a top defense because y'all typically where the head coach main focus at is where y'all the best at. Y'all's defense is was the best this year. But y'all's offense came to play in clutch moments. So. But that's how I feel. I don't think Georgia could really lose on Todd Munkin. I don't think he can. I, I, I really don't. It's your boy Slimy Hot Boy. Make sure you like up, subscribe up to the channel. And once again, man, I'm going to be coming with amazing content every day from now on. Thank you. Have a nice day.